we should not look here? That is ridiculous. Um, the greater abuse of power here was the fact that Michael Flynn lied to the FBI. Let go of the threat. No. No. Right. So, like, I mean, that was an abuse of power. He pled guilty to kill Jay Chouette, and the Attorney General went against his own prosecutors on that in a very political move. What this whole thing is wrapped around, this whole matter of unmasking, is not an abuse of power. In fact, if it was, ought to be looking into the Trump administration, which has ramped up the number of unmaskings. That's not spin, that's data, that's fact, that there are more unmaskings being done by the Trump administration than there was by but the Obama administration. we can agree that unmasking is not the crime, it is potentially the leaking of information. It will be interesting to hear from the former director of the FBI, if we indeed do, or if it's just via the investigators as they talk with him in June uh, in the Senate. All right, we'll move on to this. House Democrats have just told the U.S. Supreme Court that they're in the midst of an ongoing impeachment, a new impeachment inquiry, as they seek to obtain redacted grand jury material for investigation. And President Trump, again, with the Democrats, first in an effort reminding them of the failure in the Senate watch. It was a fake whistleblower, and it was a phony, disgraceful period of time, and we came out well. You know why we came out well? Because everyone recognized it for what it was, just a political witch hunt. The Republicans were so unified, not because they all liked me, but because they knew this was a horrible thing that happened. Boy, I've got to tell you, the House could have pressed for that information in the Mueller report that, the, that was grand jury that was protected at the time. Yeah. They could have pressed for that, but they didn't. And now we have a whole new entree of this. Mo, was this strategic, is my first question for you, and I'll just feather this in, too. Democrats lost in the Senate the first time. Did they want to remind the American voters of that failure so close to an election? Well, I think what you're seeing here are Democrats in the House reacting to very new information, very new developments, with, uh, as we were referencing in the last, uh, in the last topic, the Attorney General's decision uh, in the Flynn case, the way they're uh, handling the Roger Stone case. And Democrats you now are saying, okay, you know, as Jason just said, uh, it is the role of Congress to conduct oversight and to see where the facts take up. So now we're trying to see if there is any sort of connection here between these decisions uh, being uh, an abuse of power. And I don't think there's a lot of people itching to jump into impeachment. Uh, I don't think there were a lot of people itching to jump into it the last time. And what Democrats are saying well, is... I, 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 when you say that word around voters, they think two things. And I, I don't know about them wanting to think about this and a pandemic. American no. taxpayer dollars that yielded something that didn't happen for Democrats in the Senate. And I'm going to go to Jason on this. And in fact, there is a pandemic going on, and, and can they walk and chew gum at the same time? And if they can't, can we just choose the crisis? Jason? 
Uh, they can't seem to, to walk and chew gum. They're not even in session there in the House of Representatives, not even scheduled to come back until July second. But let's remember that the Inspector General did all kinds of reports. Do you see Jerry Nadler or Chairman Maloney calling these people before Congress to go figure out the facts on what Inspector General Horowitz found? No. They didn't even invite them up to them, and they're in the majority. So don't try to pretend, Mo, that the Democrats are really curious about this sort of stuff. They have, not, they have tools, but they don't want to hear the truth. And the Inspector General put out reports. They don't even invite Invite him up to, to present that. Well, the president's been firing well, Inspector we'll General uh, left and right, but uh, so, but look, the, the Attorney General made two very curious decisions when it came to Flynn and when it came to Stone. That is something that oversight, uh, that the Congress uh, has oversight over, and I think it's fair for them to look into it. All right, Flynn, uh, I'm going to let you go. The, the president has just arrived on Capitol Hill. Thank you. Uh, with the president there, he's up for the Senate GOP lunch. And we're being told that likely on the bill today, next to the food, will be the topic of another phase of coronavirus stimulus spending. What could that look like? Will there be one right away, that sort of thing? A lot of news to be made on the Hill today with the president of the United States there. We'll bring you the news as it happens. And a top GOP senator is requesting more information about an email sent by former President Obama's advisor, Susan Rice, and whether it relates to the case against the former national security advisor, Michael Flynn. Plus, 